To stay up to date, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Hi everyone, Ira Miller here with ERA Grizzard Real Estate, the village's expert. Today, we're at the plantation at Leesburg. So, we're probably about 15 miles to the north. Actually, we're 15 miles to the south of the villages. The villages is about 15 miles to the north. Um, your turnpike entrance is probably about, I don't know, probably three or four miles, maybe five miles um, to the south. And um, this is a very popular community. This community was being built around 1993 when uh, it just got started. So the villages in, in the 1990s was just getting started as well. Um, like I said, a very popular community. This might be a good option for somebody who might not want to move to the villages because of the size of the villages. Um, this is a really quaint community. We're gonna do a little overview today. We're not gonna do an in-depth video, but we're just gonna give you an overview of what the community does offer and a little bit of what it looks like. And we're gonna show you some homes as well in the meantime. We're not showing you any of the uh, upper level homes because the reason we're here is because we've had a client ask us to go and shoot some videos of some homes that they're looking to buy in this area. So we're just, um, shooting some of the homes that they're interested in and not everything that the plantation has to offer. All right, so um, follow along with us. I have Ashley with me and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go on inside the plantation, show you around, show you some homes, and then we'll catch you at the end. Okay, so uh, we are here in the plantation and um, on El Decino Drive, um, 5063 El Decino Drive. This is a 1993 home and uh, 1,476 square feet living area. Today, what is today? Today's April 24th. It is listed at 159.9. Could change. We're here for um, Claire and Carolyn Hollister. They asked us to do a video of this home, so we came right on out. While we're here, we're probably gonna do a little video of the plantation. We're about 15 miles from the villages, so um, uh, not too far away. I would say it's probably a 20 minute drive back to the villages. So um, just a good opportunity to present the plantation to you. The um, Turnpike is very close to this um, community. Probably if you head uh, south, southwest, you're probably about five miles is the turnpike and then boom, you jump on there and you're in Orlando, probably in about 40 minutes from here, 30 minutes from here, it's very close. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and do um, around the outside as usual, then we'll go ahead and go on inside and we'll show you everything, all the features about this home on the inside, okay? So, let's go. All right, so this is the outside of the home. Kind of give you a little idea of what the neighborhood looks like. So in this section of the plantation, these are all uh, wood framed homes with vinyl siding. Uh, very similar to uh, the cottage series that the Villages has to offer. All right, so let's go ahead and go on around the outside. This home actually does sit on a preserve. There is a newer roof on here. So this is what the preserve looks like in the backyard. There is an enclosed lanai. Very nice acrylic windows and close the lanai here. Um, that is a water feature in the back as well. So while I called it a preserve, I guess maybe we can call it a water preserve. Yeah. 
And the air conditioner seems to be in fairly good shape as well. Um, I'll see if I can find a date on it. Yes, it is. Um, uh, looks like June of 2010. So it's nine years old. All right, let's go ahead and go on inside. All right, so here's what the roof looks like. It was um, put on in September of uh, last year. So as we had mentioned, it is a, a new roof. And uh, let's go ahead and go on inside. Uh, as you can see, it's a it's basically a one car garage, but I would say more like a one and a half car garage like they have in the villages for um, a car and a golf cart. Little cute little front porch. Thank you. And so here's the inside vaulted ceilings. Very nice, love the vaulted ceilings. Little dining room area. Here's what the carpet looks like. It's in good shape. Living room area. The kitchen opens out to the living room. You have a little breakfast nook, which is very cute. And you can look out the window from your breakfast nook as you're drinking your coffee in the morning. Stainless steel appliances, which is nice. Nice countertops. Painted cabinets, look like they're done very well. So this room has vaulted ceilings as well and opens up into the lanai. <clears throat> and then you can see your view from this room. Guest bathroom has tile. Nice tub and shower combination. This is the third bedroom. Has a closet. With windows again that look out to the preserve area. There's your washer and dryer. And we'll check out the garage, so room for the car. And I think if you moved the car over and took some, the storage cabinets out, you could probably fit a golf cart in here. Okay. And let's head over. So this is a split floor plan. Master bedroom is on this side of the house. Nice high vaulted ceilings in here as well. And a very spacious master bathroom. And then your closets. Ooh, nice deep closets as well. So, very nice floor plan, very spacious. I like this hum, it, it is a winner in, in my determination. Okay, so uh, again, this is a nice overall view of the home. So here we are at our second home. We're at 4909 Heron Run Circle here in the plantation. So uh, this home is uh, listed for 159.9, 1119 square feet living area. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a little spin around the outside, 
go ahead and take you on the inside, kind of give you a little idea of what the neighborhood looks like as well, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and check out our second home here in the plantation. All right, so uh, here on the front of the house, we can see the, uh, the... Oh, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and look inside it. Um, so you can see that they're getting ready to move. They're all packed, have boxes everywhere, but um, we can kind of look around that. This is another one and a half car garage, it looks like. This is what your landscaping looks like. And it almost looks like a little villa. The backyard is fenced in with a privacy fence. Have your sliders that come out to the side of the house. The um, lanai is enclosed with vinyl windows. Not your acrylic. This is what the backyard looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and go on inside and um, we'll see what the inside has in store for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on inside. Now this is a two bedroom, two bath home. The other one was a three bedroom, two bath home. There are vaulted ceilings in this home as well. So we have your dining area, living room area, the lanai is beyond. And just as you walk in, you have your kitchen with tile floors. Probably could put a little table in here. Some plantation shutters. These are your appliances. oak cabinets, and this is your view from the kitchen. Okay. So this is very much like the villas of, um, in the villages. The courtyard villas. So this is what your lanai looks like. There's sliders that lead from the master out to the lanai, going into the master bedroom from the living room. Eight foot ceilings in here. Walk-in closet. And two sinks in your master bathroom. And you just have a shower. And that's the view of the lanai from the master bedroom. And so coming out of the master, this is another perspective of the living room and dining room. And this is your second bedroom. Eight foot ceilings in the second bedroom. The house has carpet and the main living area and in the bedrooms. And this is what your guest bathroom looks like. Okay, so um, that'll complete the video on this home and we'll head to the next. But before we do, I promised you a little look at the neighborhood, so Let's go ahead and just take a shot of the neighborhood. All right, um, let us go ahead and give you a little video of what the um, neighborhoods look like in here. 
There's a little preserve over here to the right. And again, these neighborhoods look like the cottage slash ranch home neighborhoods in the villages. And then um, we're coming up on the main boulevard that runs through this community. So we'll give you a little shot of uh, this beautiful tree-lined boulevard going through the plantation. There's a little shot of the golf course over there. Don't know if you can see it very well. But it looks in pretty good condition. And then um, to our right is the restaurant and pro shop for the country club here. so this is the uh, recreation area of the plantations that's the clubhouse in front of us you have your tennis courts and pickleball courts Your softball field is over in that direction. This is your administration building. Again, another look at your pickleball courts over here. And as you can see, the clubhouse looks like a real plantation home. So it's a beautiful building. And then as we're leaving this area, you'll notice that your mailboxes are over here to the right and uh, they actually have a little ATM machine as well. Again, similar to what the Villages has in its community. So this is uh, a little shot of what the front entrance looks like. And this is the start of your commute into the community. Okay, so here we are at our third home here in the plantation. We are at 5420 Zinnia. And some of the information about this home, this home is listed for 174, 1,626 square feet living area. Says that it's a two bedroom, two bath, and um, 1992, built in 1992. We're very close to the entrance here. I think this is the first neighborhood to the right as we come through the gate. So, um, so that's a plus. The home's Behind us are on a preserve. This home doesn't appear to be on a preserve like the first home was. But um, all right, let's do our thing. Let's go ahead and go around the outside and then we'll go inside and see what we can find here, okay? Okay, so let's go around. First thing we're gonna do, check out the roof. The roof doesn't look in bad shape at all. It does have a little uh, little discoloration, so showing a little bit of age, but I don't think it's too bad. Big windows in the front. There's your one and a half car garage. We'll check that out when we go on the inside. Air conditioner looks a little older. This is a 10 sear, so it's 
actually obsolete. They have some wires sticking out of the top. It would probably be a good idea to get a home warranty on this home just to cover the air conditioner, if nothing else. So big high walls in this home. Um, I don't know what kind of film they have over the windows. A lot of open space in the back. Nice size home site. Here's what a view of the back looks like. And this is what the homes in the back look like. The lanai looks like it's been enclosed with vinyl windows. And we'll check that out when we go inside. All right, so let's go ahead and head on inside. Okay, so walking up to the front entrance, give you a little shot of what the neighborhood looks like. Very nice homes, kept up nicely. So we're walking into the foyer here, which is vinyl floors blue carpet, and we walk into the dining room. So this is a den, there is no closet in here. It does have high ceilings. <clears throat> um, the kitchen is to the right. Actually, there's a little breakfast nook in here. That looks out to the street. And a kitchen, vinyl flooring. Standard appliances, Formica cabinets, pink countertops. And here's your living room area with high ceilings. Leads out to the lanai. I guess that door leads into the master. And then yes, those are vinyl windows. That's the plastic type. A little different perspective of the living room and kitchen. Your dining room. This is your guest bathroom. Guest bedroom with high ceilings. So even though this is termed as a um, two bedroom home, uh, it does have two bedrooms and a den as we have seen so far. And this is the laundry room area. And a nice large master bedroom with vaulted ceilings as well. You have a big walk-in closet and you have a plant shelf above. I don't know if you can really see that, but yeah. So when we saw the film over the windows, I guess that was to kind of darken the master bedroom. Carpet in the bathroom. This home does have a tub, which is the first one that we have seen that did have a tub. 
two sinks, and a small walk-in shower. Okay. And yes, that is a door that leads from the master bathroom out to the lanai. So that'll do it for this home. Carpet definitely could use replacing. All right, so that's it for our home tour. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this video of the three homes um, and a little overview of the plantation. We um, are kind of running out of time right now, so probably what we'll have to do is come back and do a more in-depth um, view, go in the clubhouse, um, take you around the recreation, and then, and then go in the pro shop and check out that area in the restaurant that's in this community. But we'll do that probably at a later date. Kind of depends on the interest that we get in this community as well. All right, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed um, this video. And then um, if you have any questions, as usual, please call me Ira Miller at 352-454-9561. Or me, Ashley Raven, 813-503-2375. And don't forget to check out our website at www.homesaroundthevillages.com. And... Um, sign up on our website as well as go ahead and subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't already done that and also hit that little bell icon so you can get notified every time we make new videos okay thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you at the next one